Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Spring is sprung, the grass is raised. If you're wondering whether or not that plant should be here in Nanaimo, that's what we're going to find out on today's edition of Go Weekend. And to help me with that is Rob Lawrence from Nanaimo Parks and Rec. Rob, I understand there's a number of plants that don't actually belong here in Nanaimo. That's correct. Yeah. And uh, everything from, as you can see in the background, English ivy, um, or uh, Daphne, which is uh, you can find in Bowen Park in a lot of locations and uh, many others actually. Himalayan blackberry we know, Daphne I know is growing everywhere. I know Daphne was brought in actually as an ornamental plant for gardens. That's correct. Was, and yeah. English ivy as well actually. So there's actually many you can uh, point to as just being brought in because people from other countries felt a little uh, homesick and thought they'd bring a little bit of home with them. But over time they can spread into our natural environment and we're seeing that in many of our parks today. And then what does it mean when it spreads in a natural environment? I mean, ivy is everywhere. Everywhere you look, it's there. But is it destroying our natural environments? Yeah, very much so. They're so good at what they do. And they can actually outcompete many of our native vegetation. And over time, we'll see less and less biodiversity in our parks. And that's something we want to prevent. Because what we have naturally in our parks, it makes this place very special. And we want to protect that. So what are you doing about it? And what are you asking people to do about that? Well, have a look in your own backyards to begin with and, and look at to see if there's any opportunities to do any removals yourself. Broom, uh, English ivy up trees, for example. Um, looking uh, for Daphne that you might have. Also, if you look in the activity guide, there's going to be opportunities to work in your own parks through the Volunteer in Parks program and work with city staff on doing removal projects in your neighborhood parks. All right, we'll find out more about the other activities. And I know that May is Invasive Plant Species Month in uh, here in Nanaimo. And we can tell you how you can get involved in that project. Other things that will be happening around town, we'll tell you about those too later on in today's edition of Go Island. But first, we have a number of stories for you. One of them is finding out about a man whose passion for music led him to buy a karaoke machine. And now he's spreading joy in seniors' homes throughout Nanaimo because it's kind of healing. Also, we've got a story from uh, Todd Jones, and there was an emu on the loose in Nanaimo, and it caused quite the stir and a lot of fun activities as well. And I had a chance to find out about a new home for women who are seeking refuge from abusive situations, but this one's in Parksville, Qualicum area. We're at Bowen Park and this is the weekend edition of Go Island and the reason I'm in Bowen Park is to find out why they're doing this kind of stuff here. It's all about removing invasive plant species in Nanaimo. Rob Lawrence told us which ones were bad and then Deb Beck is here to tell us you know how you can get involved in some of the other programs that happen with Parks and Rec. Thanks for joining us today Deb. All right so I want to know about a um, little bit more about you know just people how they can get involved in the Parks and Rec programs. But we have a volunteer in the park program and our park ambassadors are people such as Sandy here who is helping with some of the invasives. We have invasive plant work parties where they can get involved and be a group and take care of some of the invasives in different parks. They are also our ears and our eyes in the parks. So they visit parks regularly and if something is wrong, if there's a tree down, if there's garbage to be picked up, they help us out in the park and they let us know about those issues. They also help with the cleaning up of invasives and of litter and um, take pictures of issues that send it to me and I'll take it to the parks department. And I also know that people like to do other things in the park. They want to become involved in making them better, adding playground equipment or adding art, stuff like that. So how does that work, Deb? That's right. Well, we have a lot of different areas of the volunteers in the park. Like you said, park beautification, boulevards, playground installation. Um, the arts in the park has been really, really big and popular. Uh, our volunteers in the park, these are our ambassadors, our park ambassadors. We also have gatekeepers and naturalists. So there's lots of different things that you can do to get involved. We're having more families get involved because it's a really good way for parents to teach stewardship to the kids, give them a little bit of um, just joy and love for being in the parks and trying to respect it and uh, enjoy that. Um, we have another program that's starting in May here at Bowen, which is our nature types program. And these are for little ones. They're for the preschool age kids and it's a really great way for them to learn and explore and play in the outdoors. And that starts May, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays here at Bowen Park. So if you need more information, see our activity guide. 
I love getting people outdoor, especially the kids. They love it. Okay, they do. That's good. And it's good to get them out too because they spend too much time from the computer and playing with things like this, the phone here. So, exactly. Yeah, so <laughs> I know there's lots more to talk about and find out, and then I'll let uh, everyone know more about how they can find out that information from Nanaimo.ca, the Parks and Rec Department. And we have also um, some other recreational activities around this area. Shore diving is really popular, and it's not just for the nice summertime. That's the Arbutus RV Island Adventure story that I did a couple weekends ago. Also, finding out about the um, um, a beverage that was known as a, a tea with magical powers that enables people to live forever. Well, that might not exactly be true, but Rayanne LaPlante found out about a very special tea that we actually should be drinking more of. You're watching Go Island Weekend Edition. I'm standing in Bowen Park and there's some ivy clearing going on behind me. We're finding out about invasive plant species and how you can help to get rid of them to restore the natural ecosystem. We'll tell you more about that a little bit later on. First though, we're going to talk about traveling all the way from Germany to learn about farming on Gabriola Island. Two young women did that and they picked up a few other skills besides. Rayanne the plant has that story. And also Nanaimo artist Jack Willoughby. He works in metal to produce some very unique pieces of art. Jocelyn Matwe has that story. You're watching the weekend edition of Go Island. I'm at Bowen Park and I've been talking with some of the people from the Parks and Rec Department on how you can get involved in all the activities that take place here. And sometimes it's not all about fun and games. It's about helping out to keep our parks beautiful. And that's what they're doing here is they're getting rid of the invasive plant species. We'll tell you more about that a little bit later on. But first, the election, municipal election is happening this November and not many people want to run, both men and women. A Parksville councillor is sharing her enthusiasm and helping people run the most successful campaign ever. I did that story with Carrie Powell Davidson. Also talking about politics. Well, this week in BC, critics are squealing over changes to the Agricultural Land Act. It's the first big changes in 40 years, but are they making a mountain out of a molehill? Nanaimo Parks and Rec puts on events all year long and some of them involve you helping out but uh, we've been learning all about the invasive plants but also there's some fun activities coming up and talking about plants as well. Deb Beck, there's a special event happening for Earth Day, tell me about that. We have our Wild Food Festival Earth Day celebration happening on the last Sunday of this month, Sunday April 27th uh, from 11 till 3.30 here at Bowen Park which is a fabulous location for this. Uh, we have live music, 13 chefs offering wild food samples, so you can come down and try out their different samples. We have community groups here offering demos on things that happen in the park, like our uh, grass bowling and our uh, frisbee golf. Uh, we also have uh, community groups, actually school groups this year, coming in showing things that they've been doing with environmental awareness projects. Uh, so we're excited to have them involved. Uh, but that again is on Sunday, April 27th from 11 till 3.30. It's also a kickoff to our Invasive Plant Awareness Month, which will be happening through the month of May. And we'll be concluding our Invasive Plant Awareness Month with a, a bin drop-off the last Saturday of the month. So you can collect bins or collect invasives throughout the month and come drop them off at the end of the month um, at our bin drop-off here at Bowen Park again. Um, and this year, like we talked about, this year we're going to be focusing on English ivy, but we also have our broom and our Daphne and some of the other invasives that Rob has talked about. Mm, absolutely, yeah. And that's good to know that you can drop that off. I mean, I know there's a vacant lot a couple of houses down from where <laughs> I live, and there's Daphne all yeah. over it. Yeah. yeah. Someone went in and cut the broom down, which is great, but the Daphne's still there because I know it looks pretty, but, I know. you know, it, and that stuff reseeds like yes, crazy. So, yeah, and then what do you do with it? And nobody wants to have to take it off to the dump. So, free dumping at Bowen Yes, Complex. the last Saturday of the month. Okay, last Excellent. And about the uh, the uh, Wild Foods Festival Earth Day, I know that you can contact NALT for more information on that one. Their number is 250-714-1990. Or you can go to NALT's website as well as the City of Nanaimo's Nanaimo. website, Parks that's and right. Rec. Okay, yes. and that's www.nanaimo.ca and then click on Residence and Parks and Rec Department. Check out the activity guide too. There's also an activity newsletter for April and May and it's full of all kinds of activities, not just what we've been talking about today, but I'm telling you there's a couple of pages 
pages worth of things to do here in Nanaimo with Parks and Rec. Yeah, one of the things that we are offering this year for the first time too is a coal miners tour that happens April 19th and looking at some of the things that you can do outside. This is a coal mine tour of the different local coal mines that we have here in Nanaimo. A very big thing. Oh, and looking at the bikes coming by and Bike to Work Week is coming. <laughs> <laughs> the last week in May okay. is Bike to Work Week. So there's lots of stuff. <laughs> there's lots right. going on. Okay, great stuff. Uh, the next edition of Clock Todd Jones finds out how fast he can do 100. That wraps up the weekend edition of Go Island. If you want more information about what kind of activities you can get involved in, check out Nanaimo's website, www.nanaimo.ca. Click on the Parks and Rec link. That's it for today. I'll see you again next week. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions.